Okay. Alright. Uh, today we will continue our last lecture. Uh, let's again open the model we did last week on solar beam. So to open your model you go to open and you find your model somewhere. I have put it in temp and then OK. So that's a model I did last week. Now, if you remember the model, if you go to shop and then click on the job manager and the test is a new the job and get a result. And if you click here, you will have your deformed shape. Now, in order to know the displacement, if you go to U, you find out the displacement. Now, what I want to find the load deflection relationship, you go to Tools, XY Data, Manager. Again, repeat it. Tool, XY Data, Manager. Go Create, ODB File Output, continue you click on unique node you click on RF reaction RF2 and then you go to an element node and you go and now go to a set node and click on highlight because I don't know which node I need so I will highlight it when I select it if you click on for example set 1 it will give you this reaction set 2 it give you this reaction and set 3 give you the reactions or the points here and I will choose this actually as ultimate load because the loads are here and then you can save and ok now you need to sum all of these go again create operate xy data and then you continue and then you go click here and then you have the sum and after that you add all sorry you add all into the summation you divide it by 1000 to convert to a Newton and then save as let's call it 4 and then OK let's delete everything and we keep only oops sorry I deleted mm, yeah. I will keep the yeah, I think I delete everything uh, I didn't delete the fourth so I repeat it. So, so again, save as and create because I delete the fourth. So, yeah, okay, and then add this, delete all and keep only the XY data if you want it you can name it False. now I want the displacement on this point so we'll go to variable and tick this and tick this and you too you go to limit nodal from pick from view port and edit selection and then the point should be this point for example in the middle and you say at the bottom here you say done and you go save as and ok now in order to load draw the load deflection relationship you go to excel file Now, 
double click on the four uh, in the displacement to take this displacement from here right click and copy and then right click and paste these are a negative value I needed it positive so I'll multiply by one okay so I'll delete this now and then we'll take the force double click we'll take the whole force also these force are negative I will add it here so equals 2 is value time minus 1 we make it positive right click and paste it again ok now what we can do also I can insert curve here we go so these are the ultimate load of that is about 65 kilonewtons. That's the ultimate load. <coughs> or 65.3 kilonewtons. That's the ultimate load. This one. That's the ultimate load. Now keep that in mind. And notice that the load goes up and then suddenly drop. That is elastoplastic analysis. Now. In a let's delete all and back to the model. Okay. In reality, this section is not perfect geometric section, which means that when you manufacture it, you you cannot have exactly perfect section you will have kind of imperfection due to manufacturing or due to during the uh, cutting of the beam in order and then weld it or during the cut thing of the circle so too many factors can introduce imperfection into the structures And the easiest way actually to understand it is, for example, is a normal column. If you have a column, that is very perfect column, and you apply a load on the top of that column, apply load here. and due to applied load the column will buckle oh, sorry. due to apply load the column will buckle oh sorry So we'll buckle like this due to applied load. Now, in reality, we cannot obtain perfect straight column. That column, it could have kind of imperfection. So the column will be For example, will be per imperfect. So it is not straight. Therefore, there will be kind of between this line. the vertical line and here you will have 
value which is a small value which is called imperfection because we cannot obtain a straight line and then you can apply your own load on that and the applied load without uh, the behavior of structure then will be changed and also it is important to mention that the structure are very sensitive usually sensitive to imperfections the more imperfection you have the less uh, loading that the column will sustain similarly to that example for example you could have the beam will have initial uh, imperfection in such a way that this for example this web are not straight or the beam is not exactly straight beam so that is due to imperfection and therefore that's leading to reduce the bending capacity now the question is how can we include uh, imperfection into structure to include imperfection in a structure we must do the following step first of all before we carry on let's go to our model right clip and copy and let's call it as buckling let's call it or, or let's call it model model a model a because we will do now two models in model a you will have to perform a gone value problem so you have to perform a gone value problem and then in order to perform a gone value problem you go to step and you click on step manager now let's replace it or let's delete it or let's replace it replace it by we click there and linear perturbation go to buckling and you continue I will ask for first six buckling again value buckling and then we can say ok let's dismiss this if you go to loading you need to click here boundary condition manager double click on the loading and change it from 50 to 1 by applying 1 means that it's unit load but the buckling will give you and what's this place buckling step will give you and what displacement this structure will buckle and then you said okay and dismiss now it is very important actually to to, uh, to notice that in all you need actually to ask Abacus to save the data from the buckling analysis and you will know why later in order to perform such a step you have to go to file and then you have to go oh, sorry model then you have to go edit keyword and then you go to the model A you go here you need to add a, a small code into your model you go to the end and then you, you enter and you said write down this code now what do you ask Abacus is for each node of the model save it into a file you save into a file the number of the nodes and the displacement of that node again I need to save a displacement result from this model 
and then you said OK. Now you go and you perform a job, click and create, let's call it as buckling for example. OK, and then model one, continue and then OK and go and submit it. Make sure you have a model A is the model. Okay, and then you get results. Now, the buckling mode, if you click here, oh, you will see this buckling mode. So, which means that the structure is expected, is expected to fill in reality in this form. And second expectation is this, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. These are the buckling modes. Okay, now what I do ask Abacus in that code is I do ask Abacus actually to save all data of the deformations because we will use it actually. If you look here down, you will see what is called eigenvalue. And this eigenvalue is 8.7, which means at 8.7 millimeter of light displacement, the the model will fail in that form. So the expected failure of this beam is this. Okay, now. One of the suggestions to include imperfection now is taking this failure mode of the and scale it into another model. How can we do that? Now go back to the shop and again take this model, right click and copy and call it as a model B. Now you go to step, you click here, now you replace it by general and static general continue you make this geometric in a linear on go incrementation 0 0.01 and increase it to save that here and then ok dismiss now you have to go again to load you click on boundary condition manager double click on loading it was one now I need to increase it to 50 in order to have the full performance of the load Then so, okay and dismiss last thing is you go until okay now you need you need to tell Abacus that please take the first buckling mode which is the expected failure mode of this structure and scale it. Now to do that, 
go to model edit keyword and model model B that we're gonna do that before we carry on you have to go to the end and you will see actually you and uh, you and file so please delete this and also you will have this sentence and you need to delete it with the conflict head of conflict block this is due to some problems when you copy and change so you need to delete this conflict delete this conflict and delete this conflict now you go up here and you need to add before the step the following code and this code you need to remember which is imperfection file result file and the step now the result file is basically the name of the job you did before which was buckling and the step you have is number one so that is the code imperfection here so what happened is the abacus will when we read it will read imperfection and he will take the file we created already if you remember it when we said nodal node file u so this node file u in the buckling job and we'll read that file and we'll take all the displacement and that displacement of course in our step number one was on a buckling and then I will tell him use the first mode usually use a first mode or the first failure mode which is in one and the scale it by only 0 0.2 millimeter which means that the the maximum value of imperfection is 0 0.2 millimeter that is I can assume it or let's say 0 0.5 millimeter that is imperfection and that is a scale for that buckling mode okay now the 0 0.5 millimeter is the maximum imperfection value and that maximum with the shape that is the size of imperfection while the shape of imperfection is taken from the first mode that we discussed before and right and copy these into here you go just before step control V and then you said okay now bear in mind that we are performing plastic analysis at the same time that's good now you go to job again and you create for example test 2 name model 1 continue ok and then submit Okay. Monitor. Let me see. There's a ported mode number must be possible integer. I think there's a problem here. Mo mode number must be positive integer. So let's again go to here. Edit keyword B. Sometimes it doesn't work directly.
I get a result. Ah, oh, that's what you're expecting as a failure mode. Now go to Tools, XY Data Manager, create in order to load, find the load displacement relationship, ODB file output, continue, and click this and get a RF2 node, not set, set 3 and highlight it, that's a 1, and save and OK. And then operate XY data, continue, click here, sum, add to expression, divided by 1000, save as, and OK. Delete everything, delete. Now displacement, click here, go to displacement, U2, you click from viewport, click here, and done, save. Now let's take the data, so that displacement, copy to the Excel sheet. Make it positive. Double click, copy. Oops. And then Let's find the displacement relationship. Let's copy this into here and to show differences. Well, here you go. You see, a small tiny value of imperfection, 0 0.5 millimeter, a huge difference in the ultimate load. It's become now it's about 32, while it was 56. And the whole different in the behavior. That's why some structures are very sensitive to imperfection, especially for this type of, per, uh, of structures. And it seems to me the failure mode is lateral torsional buckling, because this is torsional buckling. Now, you must read more about imperfection and buckling of shells and structures. My suggestion is to go to this website POSOR 5 in POSOR 5 you would have good number of information about buckling and plastic buckling you go to main page and show you some uh, buckling image for example I'll show you some buckling of structures for example these and show you how kind of structure buckle due to imperfection sensitivity uh, and stability is very important topic for structure engineers as you see that uh, such a structure is very sensitive to imperfection any tiny small value of imperfection make a huge difference actually in the load capacity and the behavior. So my suggestions to you is to study this very well and uh, see you next week.